Good morning. Morning. So excited to be back, but this is weird. We just discussed the year is half over. I can't believe it. Oh. July. Oh, oh. I know. I know. We were talking about um, just uh, earlier this morning how we keep getting questions on what's going to happen later this year with the election. Trevor, do you know? Well, no. <laughs> Everybody thinks we have all the answers, but that's the toughie. Um, we think maybe maybe interest some interest rates. rates will drop. I guess um, that's what's happened historically, but um, I feel like we're kind of in odd times all together. Uh, so, uh, yes. I, we I sure just are. I love the question, but I don't have an answer. So if if somebody has an answer, we'd love for you to call and tell us what the answer is. But um, it seems to be on the the hearts and minds of so many people. Maybe after the debate the other week, but um, well, yes. I do still think we have low inventory, so it's still going to be a strong sellers market. Um, buyers will be. Yep out there looking um we just still we need more product so it's always you know needed yeah i think that's going to continue um this was actually roger taylor's idea from a few weeks ago but today we have a show that's kind of completely different so um if you are uh someone who just likes to check zillow just for fun and you click through still shots or you click through zillow floor plans or you read the description, we kind of wanted to pull up today just some of the images and, and how we choose those images and what the photographer does to help us um, and, and just kind of that process. We have talked to Sandra, so next time hopefully we're going to bring some links so we can actually show you what agents see versus what the public sees. Um, on those different forums and kind of talk through that so that you get an idea how your agents are on your behalf are able to kind of pull additional information that the public is not able to pull. Um, so still need an agent. But anyway, so we did want to talk through um, some of the still shots and we are going to look at a combination of homes that some are in Scotland Neck. I have one and that's where I'm from. Um, we have some in Rocky Mount to show. We even have one that's closed and just kind of talk through how we came up with these images um, and they're varying price points. So um, yeah, I hope that's a good show for you. All right, can we have our first picture? Okay, so this is a, a one level home that's going to be on the market probably today like in the MLS this is a little before um, so we don't actually list things as coming soon but this would essentially be a coming soon right as an office we talk about them but as um, publicly marketing we don't do coming soon so so we'll talk about that in just a second but continue to talk about your picture yeah, so sorry this is um, this is a house in Emerald Glen and it's a community right outside of um, North Green yeah it's um, you know so convenient to everything um, there's a new new homes going Ooh, up right behind mm -hmm. yeah so look at that um yeah Star that Place angle feature. okay so yeah. let me tell you too that there were some boxes behind that <laughs> that that um, sofa sofa there and and our photographer is great at moving things but it was really heavy so he smartly took it so those aren't in, in the, the in, in the, the picture shot. so mm -hmm. you know you will do that a lot we'll often we'll go through and you know, make sure the toilet seats are down yep, and yep. and towel straight, all that. So, um, yeah, this that room shows super well. So, if you can pause right there, I want to comment on something because we use the same photographer. He's um, local, but not local. I mean, he's in Eastern North Carolina, but not in Rocky Mount. But he comes here for us um, one or two days a week, and I think what he does is so cool. So, you see, if you and I were to take a picture, you would see shadows. Yeah. But he takes about three pictures, blends them together under different lighting with different <clears throat> filters so that you don't see a shadow because those can certainly be confusing to people as you're toggling through those pictures. So I just want to point that out because That's this so is good. a great room where you absolutely would see a ceiling fan shadow if you, you know, you mm -hmm. were our taking the picture. And surprisingly, he likes to take pictures when it's like cloudy, cloudy out or even yep. rainy sometimes I'm like oh my gosh do I have to cancel and he meant no actually they come out super good either way so yep. um, all right continue to move forward sorry for the delay oh 
wow, that's a good looking kitchen. Isn't it? You know, she mm -hmm. updated the counters. Um, she had great color sense, I think. Yes, and yes. I feel like blue is definitely, this steel gray blue is definitely a 2024 color mm -hmm. too. It's everywhere. Mm -hmm. She's That's got really a great pretty. screen porch in the back that overlooks the golf course and yeah. a cute little picket fence. Um, so I'm going to say, um, I'm going to see. What's how, neat how about this square. little house is it, it looked really cute and charming from the front, but inside they've done a ton of work. Looks great. Yes. Now mm -hmm. I helped her buy this property. Um, just a couple years ago, she bought during COVID. Okay. Um, okay. And now she's moving back to her family in South Carolina. But I saw it before, and she did it all herself. I mean, she hired somebody, she, but she picked but the colors herself. But she executed yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it's super cute. It absolutely All the way is. in the bathrooms mm -hmm. and everything. Oh, fancy refrigerator. I know. I should have told her to take down all the things. Things. Good. That's That's one thing we do. We like a clean refrigerator. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's where the washer dryer is you can go on to the next this is a bedroom that she uses as a cozy little den so that's where in our marketing descriptions and write up we would specify bedroom and how they're used you can actually um, uh, detail the rooms and what they're used for now if you'd like or, <coughs> or what the kind of the features are about each room that's another bedroom too and really a bedroom is if it has a closet window, a window. Yep. that is, you know, can be used as a bedroom. And I think the next one should be, oh. She oh, redid the bathroom. She redid the yeah. bathroom. I yeah, see that's that the black and white everywhere, Trevor. Yes. It is everywhere. And that shelf inside. Uh-huh, the niche. With that's a different nice. little tile. Oh, and the bench. Mm-hmm. That's the master. So it's kind of a perfect transition home because both of those showers were walk-in, one story, three bedrooms. Mm-hmm. And it's just under 1,500 square feet. Okay. Um, back to the kitchen. And um, back to the kitchen. Oh, and there's the backyard. I don't know if we saw the master bath, but maybe so that, how oh, yeah, much that is, was the How much is this one listed for? I was going to say guess, but oh, I won't guess. do that. Okay. I won't do that to you. It's just under 250. Oh, so nice. You, okay. That's mm -hmm. a great... Yes, and it has a great roomy yep. shed there. Um, and there's the picture of North Green Golf Course. And, yeah, you know, a new buyer, I guess it's been a couple of years now, um, but a new buyer of North Green. Right. Yep. Who's been doing great. Some serious work serious over there. Serious work, mm -hmm. yeah. And there's, like I said before, there's a new, a new building community going behind um, Emerald Glen that um, they're just kind of starting up there. Okay. They look good. Same price point, 250 and under. Okay. And yeah. Okay, so here's the next. This one is actually actually on the market and it's on the corner of Winstead and Winstead. Which is a great neighborhood. It sure is. Lots of people like to live over there because they can walk a lot, but um, that is a busy little corner right there. So it's nice yes. that they face um, and it's right Winstead. around the corner from the popular Westridge yep. Swim mm -hmm. Team Club. You got some storage, nice backyard. Two car garage. You can move a little faster if you want to on some yeah. of the pictures. There you go. That's and this perfect. one's 2257 square feet. Hardwood floors. Hardwood floors. I do feel Four like, bedrooms. Mm -hmm. I do feel like to look at this bathroom and see that original tile. I, I know. So many people have said, I wish there was more original tile. I mean, obviously people love updated bathrooms. Don't get me wrong when I say that. But um, I do feel like there's kind of a push on original charm. Look at charm. that. Look at mm -hmm. that charm. Mm -hmm. As oh, long it as it's so clean updated and in a way that is um, mm -hmm. functional. So not the original kitchen always, but some original bathrooms. Is that what you right. feel in here I too? Do, yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is so roomy. Um, four bedrooms with a formal living, formal dining. That laundry room is right to the right of the, the so kitchen this, there. Yeah. So this would be a great example of a home that um, has not been completely renovated, right? Mm -hmm. So this one has been well taken care of and certainly loved, but could use, you know, some updating from the um, yeah, you can't beat the location. That's right. Okay, so that we're on to the next one, but that property was is listed for two ninety eight five. Okay, okay. 
So all and this is one that sold in that same neighborhood. Yeah. So all of these are on one level. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this one just recently closed in that same neighborhood as the other one. The one this, had, this kind is of behind a Winston. really neat um, detached workshop. It's great. This one has a pool. Mm -hmm. um, and, and you know what? A little history on this house. My friend um, was her first house in Rocky Mountain. Oh, her family. Really? They just had one child at that time, and they they ended up buying another one in so Rocky Mountain. So let's freeze right there on the pool. So <clears throat> some people really, really want to pull, mm -hmm. and some people really, really don't want to pull. So people always ask, you know, I spent all this money on my pool. Is I mean, and they want their money back out of it. And if the right buyer comes along, they can definitely get it. But not always. Is that what you find? I do, and it. It tends to sit a little longer because it's harder to find that that pool buyer. But when you have it, ooh, it's great. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Some people really. I mean, I have two people right now that really want a house with a pool. Um, oh, do you? Yeah. Mm -hmm, that really want a house with a pool. But I mean, certainly we haven't found the right house for them with a pool. But um, and we. But you know, sometimes in. that's <laughs> right. That's right. That's right. Um, but anyway, continue on. I'm sorry. Just wanted to stop on the pool certainly was nice and I remember this one it, they just closed and they had um, put a new liner in that pool yes and the new owners are really painting out on the outside of the shutters a new color and um, that's a neat neighborhood too um, and just down the street there's Fairfield <coughs> Commons mm -hmm. where my husband is building a cus two custom homes in that little yeah neighborhood. so you get new right in the yep. old established mm -hmm. neighborhood mm -hmm. um if you don't mind i wanted to pull up the home um oh, from scotland so neck so uh, like i said um we, next time we're going to bring kind of the link so that we can talk through uh the home uh, the original feature picture and kind of how we selected those and the subsequent pictures because honestly we do think about the order in which we put the pictures too that's a good point sterling i'm really I, it's important because as the person's looking at it you don't want to confuse them with the order it, you know it's a good if you have a good flow it makes sense and it's easier for the consumer to and look. if you've ever looked at a zillow floor plan obviously that um it is nice when the order of your photos models the flow of the zillow floor plan and we usually have zillow floor plans done of our homes too and they usually enter through the front door and kind of start with the feature rooms of living spaces to kitchen to masters yeah and when so she forth. says zillow that me it it's actually a 3d tour that's right that's and you, right. you click on them and it goes to one room to the next so okay. i wanted to show this, this house neat. because it's kind of a cool house i mean it's not kind of it's a cool house so but cool. it it is confusing on just looking at some of the still shots because you think it has a lot of living spaces which it does so this is a um it was a a porch that they've converted you can see the mini split above the door back there to a sun porch um, that the homeowners use as an office but this home um, I might actually bring it back next time with the Zillow floor plan so you can see how important it is you can keep going through so you can see how important it is oh that's so cute little half bath mm -hmm. um, now that uh, well, we'll continue on. So this is the, um, it was a living space and they've converted to a dining room and you see those pretty barn doors. They put those on there. Um, did you help them, Sterling, with the I, I picking We out? did stage it. Okay. No, they had already painted it these colors um, mm -hmm. and they had this uh, furniture. I just added a little lamps and art and stuff like that. But um, they had done a wonderful job and they allowed me to, you know, come kind of show it at the end now this is a home um, this home this picture right here is from a different home this is from a home actually in West Haven and you can see it has that beautiful Salus Lucas brick around the fireplace those original hardwood floors um, and this home up uh, this is the living room of that same home with the slate hearth surround um, and this home right here was lived in and loved for 47 years by the same owner, which is really cool because typically when that happens and a homeowner has lived there for a long time, they take great care of it. 
Um, so while some things may be a little dated in, in the sense that the wallpaper might not be people's taste now, the the home integrity has usually been well maintained when a homeowner has lived is there so a long true. time. Yes. That's an That's attractive like the, the Winstead feature. Home too. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, um, an attractive feature for people. So was that on one level too? That no, that yeah. one was two levels. So okay. we just saw two different homes. The second one was um, from, like I said, a home in Rocky Mount in West Haven, and that okay. one was three twenty-five. That one comes in at one hundred four a square foot, um, which is a great price price point to allow for continued, you know, updates and improvements. Yeah, and the one did. in Scala Neck. Um, that one was 329 or 328 I can't remember right the second but that one um, it's available now yeah yeah, yeah 329,000 excuse me and that one came in at just under 115 a square foot I that's believe that's such a good price mm -hmm. what a neat house it is such a cool oh. house it does it has a, a sunken den with a fireplace it has a finished uh, sunroom it has a bar that opens to the deck and it has a living room so a lot and plus the dining room and the eat-in kitchen so tons of entertaining entertaining that space. front door is oh We're, so charming mm -hmm, mm -hmm. really beautiful well, we'll take a look at that again too yes. next week okay or no, not next week but the week yeah after. yeah yeah well, um, thank you all so much for joining us this morning. I hope that looking at some pictures and kind of talk, uh, letting us talk through how we chose some of those and um, the lighting process that the photographer used was helpful. Like I said, I, I think it will be even more helpful in our next show when we're able to talk through the actual link and what we um, kind of include as part of that. But appreciate you joining us and look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.